Hey guys, Irene here with another Photoshop tutorial today and I'm gonna show you guys this really cool trick that I learned from my really good friend who is also an awesome photographer, Jay Russell. I'm gonna leave his link down below so you can check out his work. And this tool, technique, I'm not sure what it's called exactly, but I'm just gonna call it distorting, stretching the background to fit it into whatever size you want. It's a pretty long name. <laughs> but what it basically does is that it lets you distort the background of the picture to fit it into whatever size you want. So my personal preference to use it is into trans uh, transforming my pictures into square format for my Instagram. And that's what I'm going to show you today and exactly how I do it. It's super duper simple. If you're not a fan of, of expansions or you don't know how to do that, it's too difficult for you. This is something that you should definitely know because it's a lot, a lot easier and it still does a pretty similar effect. So let's get started. Here I have a picture. It's a portrait style picture. I'm gonna make it into a square. I'm gonna start with just taking this crop tool right here. I'm gonna click on it, then right click on it to select the square format. And then I'm just gonna drag it to make it bigger. Mm, uh, let's say about here. I'm just gonna right click on it and just crop it. Here you go. So now before I do anything like I always do, I'm going to duplicate the layer. Right click, duplicate, OK. And I always do that just to make sure that if I mess something up, I will be able to go back to the, um, to the picture that we had. So now you're going to go ahead and select this tool. It's a rectangular tool, rectangular marquee tool. Uh, and you're going to just select this area right here and just make sure you do not select your object because it will distort her as well and we only want to distort the background and then you're gonna press uh, you're gonna right click on that selection you're gonna press free transform and you're gonna right click on it again select distort now you, you'll see these little squares on the sides and these are the areas that you can drag it we're gonna select this area right here left click on it hold it and then drag it to the side Ta-da! then you're just gonna click this little tool right here and press apply and then you're still gonna have your selection on so you can go to select and deselect and here we go you got rid of that nasty little white bar that you didn't want to and we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side um, click the rectangular tool select that area right click free transform right click distort take that little square and drag it to the side and then press this tool and press apply and then deselect your selection and here you go you made your picture into a square now this might not work with every single picture the best ones that it works on are the ones with blurry background but sometimes even though it might have some detail it would still work so try it out if you're just too lazy to do an expansion and now I'm just gonna show you guys how to take your landscape picture and make it into a square picture and it's pretty much the same exact method but you know I'm just gonna show it just for learning purposes um, I'm gonna go ahead and select your crop tool again and we already have the the square format selected so you're just gonna drag it up drag it up pretty a lot if you want to keep it as big maybe you're not gonna keep it as big okay like I think right about here is perfect I'm gonna right click on it and press crop I'm going to duplicate the layer to save it just in case we mess something up. I'm going to select my rectangular tool, select this area right here, oh, here you go. Right click, free transform, right click, distort, and now we're just going to drag it up. Here you go, and then I'm just going to click on this little button and apply it, select and deselect, and here you go. 
It actually created a pretty cool effect dragging all this light up. So this is pretty much it. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I hope that it was helpful. As usual, let me know if it's easy to follow. Also, don't forget to leave me your suggestions for any of the other tutorials in the comment section down below and subscribe and like, you know, all that stuff just so you don't miss my next video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.